This is the aircraft for Mill for the Hanley Page 0400 Heavy Bomber in Rise of Flight. We start off in the pilot slash bombardier position and we rotate through positions by pressing Ctrl C. Okay, so we'll change positions to the nose gunner. Now, as you can see, you haven't manned the weapon yet, so you have to press T and then you take up the weapon. And then another control you have to assign is the nestle on gun sight, which is I've made it as uh, Shift T. And that's it there. Now to drop the weapon, you just press T again. So the weapon's dropped, now we can look around with track IR. Then we go to the tail upper position, T to man the weapon. And this position has two weapon mounts, so you can protect either side of the aircraft by pressing Shift C to swap sides. And onto the belly position, which is obviously on the underside of the aircraft. Just take you into night time, so we can see the cockpit lighting uh, and the navigation lighting. These controls we need to set manually, and I've just done L for cockpit and Control L for navigation. Now you can see the cockpit lighting from external view, and you can see there the navigation lighting on the left wing. Okay, I'm going to show you individual engine starts, but we'll look at the instruments first. That's the radiator, and fully open, and fully closed. We have the compass, speedometer in miles per hour, altimeter in feet, both temperature gauges and both oil pressure gauges. Then we move down to the lower right, we've got our engine on off switch, another compass, and then we've got our mixture, it's fully rich, fully leaned, onto the throttle, full throttle and idle throttle. Now we'll take a look at one of the engines, as you can see you have two dials, so you've got the tachometer there, the max RPM is 2000 and you can see the radiator shutters, that's fully open and that's the fully closed. Now you can start both engines at once but I'm going to show you how to do them individually. So you press 1 to select the first engine, make its mixture full, you can see the one lever move and then the one radiator lever will move as you open it and then you can E to start. Okay, to start the second engine, you need to deselect engine 1, then select engine 2, and then do full rich mixture and full open radiator, and then E to start. You may need to tap the reduce radiator and mixture button to get all the way forward. The key to managing your engine with only one axis control is remembering which engine you have selected. Okay, so we currently have engine 2 selected, so now we select engine 1, and then we reduce the mixture to increase our RPM for takeoff and then we apply full throttle and off we go. Now obviously being a bomber uh, it has a lot more weight to it so it's going to have a longer takeoff run depending on how much fuel you take so as a guide uh, I like to take off at 55 to 60 miles per hour and when planning a mission bear in mind that 100% fuel on the Hanley page will give you 8 hours endurance. Now, I haven't shown the bombardier position yet uh, but I'll cover that in the bombing tutorial for the Hanley page. That's the aircraft for mill for the Hanley page.